Hi, Graham from Concept Music again, and today I'm talking about buying a secondhand clarinet. You may have seen an earlier video giving you some guidelines and generically on buying a secondhand brass or wind instrument, but today I'd, look, I'd like to look specifically at the clarinet. Now, I don't want to scare you, but clarinet can be a tricky one. So it is something you need to have a little bit of ammunition under your belt so that you know what you're looking for. Just like everything else, if the instrument looks in good condition, it probably is, but I say probably. But the, the good news is we're gonna show you what to look out for. Obviously, if you've got your child with you, or if you're a player yourself, the first thing you're gonna do is assemble it and try and play it, and make sure it plays. Always test an instrument by playing it if you can, and by playing it, you're gonna check that the low notes are nice and easy to play. If the low notes don't work, the whole instrument doesn't work. So on any instrument, brass or wood, it's the low notes that are most important. So, but what else can you look out for? Firstly, I've just put that together fairly easily because it's a brand new clarinet, the corks are nice and tight, and so all the joints are nicely sealed. If you go to put it together and it goes all wobbly and you go, oh gee, that doesn't hold on very well and it twists very easily, it could be the corks are old and dry, so that should be nice and firm to put together. The good news is you can check that very easily yourself. If it goes together too easily and it's all loose and wobbly, you are going to have to factor in that at least it needs re-corking, if not re-padding. The rest of it to look at is, of course, just the general overall condition. You don't have to worry about dents and scratches like you do on a trumpet or a saxophone. So if the keys look all really good and it plays well and you can get the low notes, you're off to a really, really good start. The pads are something particularly important to consider on a clarinet, particularly if it's an older instrument. Now modern instruments, particularly the student instruments like Yamaha, use a synthetic pad which is extremely reliable. So if the clarinet's less than five years old, it's very unlikely that your pads are gonna cause any problems. An older clarinet, where they use felt pads that are covered with a uh, fish skin, believe it or not, uh, they can cause all sorts of issues. So even if a clarinet, someone says, we played it for a few months, we put it in the case, we haven't touched it since, it can have some major issues with the pads. And I say that because the type of felt they use is particularly attractive to silverfish. So what do you have to look out for there? Well, the first thing you would notice is usually some little bits of dust in the case. So if you open the case, worst case scenario, see a silverfish run away. But second thing you look out, if you open the case, you take out the clarinet, you notice there's all talcum powder in there. That's a dead set certain sign that silverfish have been in the case and have been feeding on the pads. You can also look at the pads. Most of them are fairly easy to see. Just look at them underneath and if you can see holes in them, definitely been eaten by silverfish. Now, is that, does that mean you shouldn't buy it? Not necessarily. It means it needs major repair work though. Even a basic service on a clarinet is gonna cost you $100. So if it's not playing great, but the pads look good, you're gonna to have to spend $100 on a service to go through it and get everything checked and settled in properly. Uh, we, any instrument we sell secondhand, we get service as a matter of course, so that we can sell it with 100% confidence. But if you're doing it privately, that will be your decision. Just factor it into your purchase price. So what looks like a really cheap clarinet at $350, if you then have to buy a new mouthpiece, something else to check, look at the mouthpiece, see how badly worn or chewed or chipped it is. If you need a new mouthpiece, that's not a problem at all. They're only $65 but factor that into your secondhand purchase price. So check the mouthpiece, check the corks, check the pads. If the pads need doing, it could be an old wooden clarinet that is a very nice clarinet, and but it needs a repad. So a repad allow $250 to $300. It could be a little bit more on an older wooden instrument, but if you allow $300, it may still mean that an instrument for three or $400 invest that $300 in getting it repadded and buying your mouthpiece and you're going to have a very fine instrument. Wooden clarinet started about $1,500, so less than five years old, you'd probably pay seven or $800, you know, certainly no more than 900 because you want to factor in that if it hasn't been serviced for a few years, and you can ask the person selling it, has it been regularly serviced? When was the last time it serviced? How old is it? When they say how old it is, say, did you buy it new? Where did you buy it from? Just so that you've got a bit of a pattern and a feel for the life of that instrument. But secondhand instruments are not a problem as long as you're aware, as long as you're careful. Clarinets, $400 for a good secondhand one if it's been serviced and if it's not too old. If it's a bit older and you're suspicious of the pads, and particularly if you open up the case and you can see what looks like talcum powder, stay away from it because it is gonna cost you a lot of money. And at the beginning of the school year, 
particularly when everybody needs their instrument next week for their first lesson, that's gonna take you a month to six weeks to get back from the repairer. Okay, to clarify a couple of things about clarinets that perhaps need just re re-emphasizing. Most student instruments are made out of a composite material. It's like a plastic for want of a better word. Very durable, very reliable, nice and light for kids, easy to play. But a professional instrument will always be made out of wood and usually ebony or granadilla wood. So if you're looking at a secondhand student clarinet, most of the, most of the faults with the instrument are gonna be fairly obvious for you to find, like the pads, like anything that's broken, like something that doesn't go together. If it's a professional instrument or semi-professional instrument that's made out of wood, there's one more thing you'll need to check. And it's fortunately very easy to check that being wood, all you need to do is look right through the middle, hold it up to the light or to a window and look through the middle of the clarinet. You'll see the grain of the timber quite clearly, but you'll also see if there's any cracks in the clarinet because the cracks won't necessarily come right through to the outside. So an old instrument in particular that's been lying around, perhaps subject to some extremes of conditions inadvertently, or perhaps just hasn't been looked after for a long time, they can develop cracks, which it's usually worth not worth trying to get them repaired. Possibly, but not usually, and expensive. So secondhand student, plastic clarinets, pretty easy. The wooden clarinets, you just need to be aware. The clarinet I'm using today for demonstration purposes is a Yamaha clarinet called a YCL255. They're our go-to student clarinet. They're incredibly reliable. They'll last you for years. Because of the sort of pads they use, they need very little servicing. Five-year warranty if you do have a problem, and I honestly cannot remember the last time somebody came back saying, with a warranty issue on a clarinet, on a Yamaha clarinet. We've had the old one that's got sat on and been broken. We can fix that. But, uh, but really they are so reliable, they are such a beautiful instrument. We, we just, the reason we love selling Yamaha is for that reason. The warranty, the spare parts availability, so easy to play. It's fantastic secondhand prices for them because of that. So the clarinets that we might sell for $700 to $800 brand new, you'd expect to pay four to 500 for one that's been played for maybe a couple of years by a previous student before they moved on to a better instrument or stopped playing for whatever reason. So um, if, it's, if it's a Yamaha and it's less than five years old, go for it.